Hi, I'm Helen with Floating Yoga School. This is a 45 minute fun power flow focused on your core. So not just the front of your core or your rectus abdominis, your six pack muscles, but also sides of your core, your obliques, your deep core muscle, your transverse abdominals, and the back of your core as well. So focus on building heat, building support through your body. And just anytime you need a little bit more of a go-to core flow, hopefully this can be it. We're gonna get started belly down. So when you're ready, you can come onto your mats, make your way all the way down to your belly, and either stack your hands and rest your forehead on your hands, or bring your hands to your side and turn your head to one side. So whatever feels the most comfortable for you. When you arrive here, close your eyes. Take a moment to settle down into your mat. A moment to really notice how you're feeling, what's happening in your physical body. Notice what you're thinking about and start to notice and deepen your breath. If it's comfortable, you can turn on that really loud, strong, ujjayi breath in and out through your nose, creating a slight constriction at the back of your throat, building heat already, and maybe adding a little pause at the top of your inhale and the bottom of your exhale. Send your awareness to your core, front, sides, back. And feel your breath move all the way down into the depth of your lungs, really using your diaphragm in your core to expand and contract with each breath in and out. If your head is turned to one side, you can turn it to the opposite direction. Continue to breathe. And maybe you'd like to set an intention for tonight's practice. Let's take one more round of breath right here. Bring your chin or forehead to your mat, hands off your mat, but at the height of your shoulders. Tend your palms so fingertips are down. Roll your shoulders down away from your ears. As you inhale, lift your chest, little baby cobra, using your back muscles, but also your core. Exhale, lower back down. And it doesn't have to be super high. Use your inhale to peel off the ground. Your exhale to slowly release back down. One more inhale, maybe try to lift your belly button off your mat. And exhale, release down. Tuck your toes, hands come below your shoulders. Lift your knees, take a breath in. Exhale, high plank, you can always keep knees down. Take an inhale here. Exhale to downward facing dog. Allow a little bit of movement in your down dog. Pedal out, sway side to side. Bend your knees, breathe in, look forward to your hands. As you exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat, really engaging your core with each step. So finding stability through your low back, support through your entire torso with your core strength. Lift halfway, breathe in. Forward folds, breathe out. One more inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, release. Rise to standing, strong, engaged core. Hands float to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Inhale, reach to the sky, lengthen. As you exhale, cactus your arms, bend your elbows, little back bend, lift your chest. Hands to the sky, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Strong core to come down. That'll support your low back. So really the name of the game today. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, hands down. Step back to a high plank upper push up and hold it there. Imagine you could press your heels into the back of the space that you're in. Crown of your head reaches forward and then find a little rock forward and back. Pressing back through your heels, reaching forward through the crown of your head. Imagine you could wrap your core a little tighter, like you're buckling a seatbelt across your low belly. Maybe even lift your pelvic floor, engage all the way from the bottom. 
As you next inhale, take a shift forward. Feel free to drop your knees. Exhale, chaturanga just halfway down. Inhale, right back up to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Once more, breathe in. And exhale, chaturanga. Hold here, inhale. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Let your knees come down to the ground. Draw your knees together. So in a tabletop with your knees together, extend your right leg straight back behind you and your left arm out in front. So already a lot of core here supporting your back. You're gonna inhale as you are. Exhale, draw your elbow and knee together underneath you, a little rounding through your spine. Extend long, breathe in. And then a little different, you're gonna cactus your arm out to the side and your knee out to the opposite side. Inhale, re-extend. Elbow to knee underneath you, exhale. Back to that extension. Then that funky cactus, step out to the side. Once more through, breathe in. Breathe it out. Inhale, extend. Exhale, take it to the side. Extend long, breathe in. Lower just your hand, cross your foot over to the left. You go over your left shoulder. Find a little bit of space through your side body. Really breathe into your right obliques, your waist. And then we'll take this to a supported modified side plank. Foot can come to the back of your mat. I like to pivot my left foot behind off to the side. Stretch your right arm high. Option to stay just like this or lift your foot off the ground. And if you're lifting, you've got the option of taking elbow to knee like a little side crunch. Inhale to extend. Your exhale draws it in. Just two more breaths. Try to find that support. Your movements can be small, controlled is awesome. Breathe in, back to tabletop as you breathe out. And then any movements here to reset, a child's pose, maybe cow and cat, that's what I'm gonna take. A little bit of wiggles or wrist stretches. You can really allow for more space through your core, especially the belly. And then come back to that engaged state, neutral tabletop. Knees come to touch. We'll do that same thing to the other side. Left leg reaches back, right arm reaches forward. Find a breath in. Elbow to knee, exhale. Inhale, extend. Cactus to the side, knee out to the opposite side. Extend long, breathe in. Elbow to knee underneath you, round through your spine. So it's kind of like your cat pose. Inhale, reach. Exhale to the sides, cactus and funky step. Breathe in. Breathe it out. Last one, inhale and exhale. Back to the extension, find that core strength and stability. Release your foot, your hand, pardon me, and take your foot over to the side. Peek over your right shoulder. Keep breathing, space through your left side. And then a little bit more to neutral, foot to the back of your mat, set up for that supported side plank, right foot pivots, adjust as you need. Left arm and shoulder stack, maybe you stay. Maybe you lift your foot, extend. Maybe you take little elbow to knee crunches. Three full breaths. I like my exhales to draw it together. You're welcome to take whatever breath, whatever breath works for you. Let's do one more. Back to extension. Gently release it down. Inhale as you are. Exhale to a puppy pose, walk your hands forward. Drop your chin, your chest, maybe just your forehead down to the ground, hips stay high. If you prefer a child's pose, that's a beautiful variation and option to take as well. And then walk your hands in, downward facing dog. Feet together to touch. Reach your right leg up behind you. Try to keep your hips in line, your inner thighs squeezing toward each other. That'll help engage inner thighs, lift your pelvic floor. Engage navel to spine, find that seatbelt sensation across your low hips, corset maybe around your waist. And then if you like, look forward to your hands and play with floating your left hand. Maybe it doesn't come off the ground, maybe it's just a moment. If it's easy, you can try to shift your gaze back. Maybe, maybe not for me today. And then really sit down. A little bit of pedal, a little bit of movement. If wrists and shoulders start to talk to you today, drop to your knees, drop to your elbows. Same thing, other side. Feet together, left leg high. Think of hugging inner thighs, hips in line. Gaze forward, maybe you stay. Maybe right hand hovers. Or you take the hover and you peek back. 
I know I have a tendency to lean forward. So try to keep chest reaching back to your thighs. Hand down, foot down, whatever movement you need or like. Bend your knees, breathe in, look forward. Step, hop, floats toward your hands, exhale. And if you're taking those hops, really find that core strength to lift you. Inhale, come halfway up, slide your shoulders down your back. Exhale, forward fold. Rise to standing, arms sweep high, breathe in. Palms together in front of your heart, breathe out. Give yourself a moment here to adjust, reset. Clothing, breath, stance. Wait into your left foot. So you're gonna reach your right knee to the sky, arms to the sky, one-legged Tadasana. So it helps to focus your eyes on something that's not moving and to really find that stability through your entire core, not just the front, but engage your side and back muscles as well. Big breath in. Exhale, warrior three, foot back, heart forward. Whatever arm variation you like, I'm reaching my hands back, more of an airplane sensation. Arms forward is going to be a little bit more weight for your core, a little bit more work through your shoulders and upper back. Big breath in. Exhale, step back, hands to the sky, crescent lunge. Inhale here, take some time to adjust your stance, even out your hips, engage your low belly, relax your shoulders. Interlace your fingers, flip your palms to the ceiling, breathe in. Hands behind your head as you breathe out, elbows go wide. So we're going to think of cow and cat here in our crescent lunge. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, round through your spine like you're taking a little crunch or rounding forward. Twice more. Inhale, open it up. Strong legs. You're working that stability, all those core muscles. Exhale, round it forward. One more. Breathe in. Woo. <laughs> I'm a little wobbly. Maybe you are too. Breathe it out. It's all good. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, warrior two. Open to the side. So we're going to try and keep our bottom half the same as we flow here. So take a moment to find and set up that nice, strong, stable foundation. I like front heel in line with my back arch. Make sure you can see your front big toe. Press down through your legs. And then we're just going to take a little dancing warrior. Inhale to reverse warrior. Maybe without resting your hands. Exhale to side angle, same thing, just a little hover. Twice more. Inhale, reach it up and back. Use your core strength. Exhale, reach it forward and down. One more. Inhale, reverse triangle. Reach it up and back. Left leg straight. Stay for your exhale. One more breath in. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands down to a low lunge, framing your front foot. Front knee is bent. Plant your right palm. Reach your left arm to the sky for a twist. Even out your hips, so really draw your right hip forward and up, your left hip back and down. Breathe in. Side plank as you exhale, outer edge of your right foot. You can always drop to your right knee like we did before or down to your right forearm. Left hand high, and if you want, you can hover your left foot. You can also take those little elbow to knee crunches from here. A little bit more challenging, at least for me. Breathe. Find that stability. One more inhale. Exhale, flow through your chaturanga, up dog, or cobra, back to down dog, or skip it. And take any resting shape, any shape you like to pause in to reconnect to your breath and reconnect to your center. So not just that physical core of the muscles that are supporting you, but also that sensation of who you are at your core, at your depth, what you're about, your why, your fire, your drive. Bend your knees, breathe in, look forward. Step, hop, floats toward your hands, exhale. Lift halfway up, breathe in. Forward folds, breathe out. Stand up, reach high. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Take some time if you'd like to adjust, please do. When you're ready, wait into your right foot. Left foot comes up, one legged tadasana on the other side. So a lot of hip flexor potentially here. See if you can find that core to lift. Hip flexor will also work with the core, so not the end of the world if you're lifting from there. Breathe. One more inhale. Exhale to your version of warrior three. Just as you did in your downward facing dog with one leg lifted, try to hug your inner thighs. So your hip bones are both pointing kind of forward and down. You can take arms forward if you want more core, more shoulder, upper back. Let's find one more inhale and exhale, step it back. 
Work into your high crescent lunge. I'm going to take my feet a little bit wider this time, see if that will help with my stability. And really root down through your legs. Find all those stabilizer muscles through your feet, your legs, your core. Hands interlace above you. Flip your palms to the sky. Breathe in. Exhale, hands behind your head. Same little cow and cat movement. Inhale, lift your heart, maybe look up. Exhale, elbows in, round through your spine. Twice more, breathe in. And breathe it out. Inhale. And exhale. Back up, high crescent lunge, breathe in. Warrior two, as you exhale, take the time to set it up, to settle in, to really feel strong, not just through your core, but through your entire being and body. And then we'll flow using obliques and lots of core strength to keep your hands hovering. Inhale, reach it up and back without resting a ton of weight on your fingertips. Exhale, forward and down, side angle. Twice more, breathe in. And breathe out. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Reverse triangle, breathe in, reach up and back, right leg straight. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, frame your front foot, bend your front knee, and plant your left palm right arm to the sky. So I know I have a tendency to dump into my back hip or the hip of the leg that's back. So I'm trying to even things out, find more of a twist through my core around my ribs and that'll help open up through some of those places we've been engaging. Inhale here. Exhale to your side plank, Vashisthasana. Outer edge of your left foot, left knee down, left forearm down. Maybe you hovered your foot and took those little elbow to knee crunches. Three more breaths. Two. And last one. Breathe in, release your way through a flow or skip it. Take a moment to find a pose where you can check in, scan your physical body, notice your thoughts and your breath. And then come to a tabletop, hands and knees. If you're not already there, we're gonna drop forearms down, set up for a forearm plank. So forearms parallel to each other, elbows no wider than your shoulders. And a nice little check is to hold on to opposite elbows. Hands come out in front, palms flat like you're making a number 11, or if you prefer, hands can come together, interlace, or just in a little prayer. And then walk your feet back. So ideally, your hips are in line with your shoulders. You can scoop your low belly under to really engage all of those strong core muscles. And we're gonna keep hands and feet in the same spot. So it's gonna be tempting to walk your feet in. Inhale to dolphin, lift your hips, look back between your arms to your feet. Exhale, lower right back down to your forearm plank. So a lot of core, a lot of shoulders. Breathe in to lift. Breathe out to lower. Let's do two more, inhale. Exhale. And last one. Hold your sphinx, breathe in or pardon me, forearm plank, breathe in, and now we're taking it to Sphinx, breathe out. Hips down. Imagine you could pull your heart forward through your hands, elbows back, neck is long, crown of your head reaches to the sky. One more inhale. Exhale to child's pose, hips to heels. Adjust, get there however, for me it's not a pretty transition, but I'm making my way there in the way that feels good for me. And your knees can be together, they can be wide apart. There's no right or wrong. Let's take a little pause here, a little check back in. Pay attention to your breath. And we'll hold for three full rounds in and out. Find your way to tabletop and then back to downward facing dog. And similar to what we did before, feet together, big toes touch, reach your right leg to the sky. And this time you're gonna shift forward to a one-legged plank. And just as we did in down dog, you can stay just here or you can start to shift. Try to float your left arm out in front. For me, it's kind of a big shift. If you can, maybe you don't move as much as I do. Maybe it just hovers for a moment. Maybe it reaches out in front like you're shaking someone's hand. Really sit down, release your foot, switch sides. 
up and back, downward facing dog. Start with your left leg high, three-legged dog, and then shift yourself forward. Find that core strength stability. Right arm hovers, reaches. Release your foot down, up and back to downward facing dog. And we'll try some little hops toward a handstand. So I like my hands a little closer to my feet for this. Bend your knees a lot, belly toward thighs. Look forward to your hands. Feel a sensation of lifting your pelvic floor. So engaging across your hip bones, a little seat belt, a little kegel, however you want to think of it. Breathe in, breathe out. And at the end of your exhale, maybe you can catch a little hang time. Press into your hands, hop. Mine are not very big to start. Take a few, hop it to the top of your mat, or simply walk yourself up. Lift halfway, breathe in. Forward folds, breathe out. Stand tall, reach high, inhale. Hands together in front of your heart as you exhale. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana, right knee high. Weight into your left leg. We're gonna exhale to eagle, right thigh crosses on top. Right arm crosses below. Hands connect, and you can stay just like this, or as you inhale, lift your elbows. Exhale, little standing crunches, elbows to knees. Two more, breathe in. Breathe it out. Last one. Unwind one, like it's Tadasana, inhale. Warrior three, as you exhale, try it with your arms reaching forward, maybe they interlace. Take a breath in, stretch. Exhale, step it back, high crescent lunge. Inhale as you are. Exhale, warrior two, open it up. This time, inhale, stretch your left arm forward. Exhale, right arm above your head. So you're taking a side angle like you're holding a beach ball. Really rotate your heart open. Find your side core, your obliques. Turn them on, let them lift you up. Feel the length of your spine. Stay with your breath. Inhale, reverse triangle, reach it up and back. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down, standing splits. Weight into your left leg. Right leg reaches high. You can stay just right here. Play with balance, hands to your ankle, your calf. Or play with some little handstand hops. Plant your palms. Find that core strength, that lift from your pelvic floor, mula bandha, your root lock. Right leg up. Maybe left leg hovers in an L or comes knee to chest in a bend. Maybe both legs to the sky. Maybe you just stay in the splits. One more breath in. If both legs are in the air, bring your left foot down. This is going to be a funky transition. You're going to bend your left knee, swing your right leg forward, and sit onto your left foot. So my left heel is kind of going between my butt cheeks. My leg is extended out in front. You can stay just like that foot on the ground, or if you've got the core strength balance, you can float your right foot off the ground, squeeze your inner thighs, hands to your heart. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Maybe one more. And then sit it down onto your bottom. Feet down. I promise we'll get to the other side later. Give yourself a little hug. And take it right away into boat pose. Hands behind your shins. Your legs hover your shins. Lift your heart. Relax your shoulders. Arms can go wide. You're welcome to stay right here. Or as you inhale, extend and hover. Exhale, knees to chest. Twice more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, arms to the sky, legs straight, big inhale. Cross your ankles, step or hop it back. Find your way to downward facing dog through a flow or skip it, I'm skipping it. Notice what your breath is asking for. Maybe a little moment to pause. Maybe it's smooth and steady, you can continue. Maybe you're grabbing a sip of water like me. Find your way back to downward facing dog if you're somewhere else. Feet together, big toes touch. Reach your right leg to the sky, breathe in. Knee to nose, breathe out. Inhale, leg high. Tap your right elbow or shoulder, exhale. Back up, breathe in. Cross it to your left. Inhale, leg to the sky. And exhale, release. Left side, inhale, left leg high. Knee to nose, exhale. Back up. Tap your left elbow or shoulder, use your breath out to draw it in. 
Inhale, extend. And exhale, cross it to your right. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, release. One more time, those handstand hops. Hands a little closer to your feet. Bend your knees. Belly to thighs, look forward. Maybe try a little hang time. A little crouch in the air. Step or hop to the top of your mat when you've had enough. Halfway lifts, breathe in. Forward folds, breathe out. Sweep up, reach up. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Second side, wait into your right foot. Left knee rises, one legged Tadasana, breathe in. Eagle, left arm below, left leg above, exhale. Stay, even out your elbows and knees or start to move, inhale, lift. Exhale, standing crunches, drop together. Twice more with your breath. Please know you can always go slower, faster, hold, skip stuff. One more. Unwind one legged Tadasana. Warrior three, exhale, foot back, maybe hands reach forward. One big breath in, strong core. Step it back, exhale, high crescent lunge. Just a breath in here, stabilize. Exhale, open to the side. Inhale, right arm reaches forward. Exhale, left arm over the top. Hold your imaginary beach ball. Rotate your heart open, turn on your obliques. Press through your legs. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Inhale, reverse triangle, right leg straight, right arm up and back to the sky. Exhale, we're gonna cartwheel it down to standing splits. Hands down, right foot stays on the ground. Hold, stay, balance. Or if you played on the other side, some handstand hops, plant your palms, left leg up. Right foot hovers, knee to chest, or maybe both legs to the sky. We're gonna take it to that funky toe balance when you're ready. Right foot is on the ground, left leg is high. Bend into your right knee. Bend your left knee as well, that probably helps. Swing your leg forward and sit down onto your right heel. And if it's not graceful getting there, no worries at all. Find your seat, hug your inner thighs toward each other. Sit up tall. Maybe you float your foot. Maybe your hands to your heart, one or both. Maybe you fall out, it's all good. Breathe. Inhale, exhale, lower yourself down to a seat. This time we'll start with a cobbler's pose, feet together, knees wide. Lift your heart, breathe in. Hinge forward over your legs. Allow breath to move into your low back, your hips and your groin. Gently lift your chest, back to your boat pose, knees come in, hands behind your legs, hover your shins, hands to your heart this time for a little rowing boat. Use an exhale to turn to one side. And you guys have a pretty good view of me twisting my legs. Try to twist more from your upper body, so I'm still working on it too. Stabilize through your legs, your pelvis. Find that movement through more of your upper half, or middle half, I should say. One more time, each side. Come to center. Arm straight, leg straight. Maybe you find your big toes. Extend, and then make your way back to downward facing dog through a flow or skipping it. And a little pause wherever you end up, any shape. Reconnect to your sense of center. What keeps you grounded? What keeps you going? What keeps you connected? From downward facing dog, step, hop, float, top of your mat. You can take those handstand hops if you want. Or if you're like me, you're starting to slow down. That's all good. <laughs> Lift halfway, breathe in. Forward folds, breathe out. Inhale, stand. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. We're gonna take tree pose, weed into your left foot, your right foot comes up to start. Ankle, calf, or thigh, you choose the placement. Just make sure if you're near your knee joint that you're not pressing it out of alignment. So usually we say above or below. 
If it's comfortable for you to rest on top, just don't push it out of alignment. And I'm gonna challenge you to do something that's gonna move your balance a little. That's swaying like a tree, if that's twisting or back bending, let it be a little bit messy. Let yourself feel challenged to stay balanced or even to fall out. And there's some saying that I probably misquote, but it's the strongest trees bend so they don't break, right? So we're moving with the wind rather than snapping. Hands come back to your heart. Lift your leg, breathe in. Warrior three with arms out to the sides as you breathe out. So you're stretching forward back into the sides, inhale. Half moon as you exhale, left fingertips come toward the ground, maybe the hover, right arm to the sky. And you can stay just like this, you can take your left hand to your heart space. Try to reach the crown of your head forward and the back of your head slightly back. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale, step it back, warrior two. Reverse warrior, breathe in, up and back. Cartwheel your hands down as you exhale. You're gonna drop your right forearm down, so if you can step back first, that's all good. We're gonna come into a forearm plank or a side plank on your forearm on your right side. Left arm to the sky. Any variation here, you can take a little hug, a thread through. You can take some little pulses of your hips. You can lift your left leg. Just breathe for two. One more. Both forearms down, even them out. Lower your knees, your hips for sphinx. Inhale. Exhale, lower, press to child's pose. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, breathe in, look forward. Exhale or bottom of your exhale, step, hop, floats, top of your mat, maybe some handstand hops. You can catch up when you're ready. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward folds, breathe out. Inhale, rise, hands overhead, sleep, reach. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Last little flow, weight into your right side, right foot, left foot comes up, tree, ankle, calf, thigh. Find a sense of balance first, and then I challenge you to find those imbalances, those things that throw you off. Make it a little silly if someone's in the room with you or walks through there and be like, what are they doing? Have fun with it. Hands to your heart, knee forward, breathe in. Warrior three with your arms out wide to the sides, breathe out. Stretch, reach, feel that energy extending from your core, your center all the way through your limbs, breathe in. Half moon as you breathe out. Right hand might find the ground, maybe it hovers, maybe a block or your water bottle. Maybe right hand to heart. Extend through your back foot. So keep that core strength moving, that heat filling your body. One more inhale. Exhale, step it back, warrior two. Always adjust as you need. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. We're taking it to side plank on our left forearm. So if you like, drop it down. Step it back. Right hand high. Play with your variations, threading under, floating your hips, hovering your foot. Breathe whatever you've chosen. Breath is important. And try to breathe into your belly, deep into your core. Inhale. Exhale, both forearms down. Forearm plank, one more breath in. Lower your knees and your hips down for sphinx. Same thing as we did before. Imagine pulling your heart forward. You can stay just like this. If you want a little bit more, you can press into your hands, lift your elbows. If you feel like you want a lot more, I invite you to take more of a full cobra, hands below your shoulders. Press yourself up, maybe arms work a little bit straighter. Maybe, if you want even more, stretch out your belly. You can bend your knees and let your head fall back toward your feet. For me, that doesn't feel fantastic, so I'm gonna stay in my more low sphinx shape. And then lower if you're lifted. Stack your hands, rest your forehead, like we did when we started. Maybe head to one side if you prefer. Take your arms out wide in a T-shape. Turn your head to your right, so your left cheek is on the ground. Right hand by your side, roll onto your left hip, and kickstand your right foot behind you. 
Head can relax down. Some people prefer to keep it a little bit lifted in line with your spine. You choose what feels best on your neck. And then slowly release and take it to the other side. Right leg extends, left hand by your side. I got a mic this, I'm not gonna roll all the way over. Oh, we'll pass it, there we go. And when your sides feel even, back to center, and then press it back to a child's pose. You can always stay tabletop, down dog if you prefer. One more round of breath. We'll take one last downward facing dog. And I suggest hands a little bit wider than normal, at least a little bit wider than um, your hips, if they're more narrow than that. And we'll just play with hopping through to a seat. So similar to what you were doing from your handstand hops, bend your knees a lot, look forward. And then what I do is send my butt up, cross my ankles, and send my feet between. So maybe you want a couple hops with ankles crossed. Just kind of see how that feels. And then it's a little awkward hop through. <laughs> Find your way onto your bottom. We're gonna take one more boat pose. Feet on the ground, hands behind your legs. You can take any of the versions we did before. Regular boat holding. Wide, legs straight, arms up, low boat, that big toe, or I'm gonna to take mine wide. Lift your heart, relax your shoulders. Imagine a string from your heart to the sky. Find that core strength, belly up and underneath your ribs. Breathe, breathe, breathe. One more inhale. And exhale, release it down. Reverse tabletop, hands behind you. Fingers point toward you if that's okay on your wrists. Knees bent, press through your feet, lift your hips. Lengthen your spine. I like my chin a little bit more tucked. Other folks like their head to fall back. Do what works in your neck. Maybe a little bit more lift through your hips. Breathe in and lower yourself down. Take it all the way onto your back. So if you'd like to adjust forward, please feel free. Scoot yourself down, roll yourself down, however you want to get there. Hands by your sides, feet walk in. We'll take a little bridge pose. If you prefer a wheel and you feel comfortable in that back bend, you're welcome to go into that full back bend. Otherwise, hands stay by your sides. Maybe they graze your toe, your heels, but what you're looking for is ankles below your knees. So you might adjust that distance away from your bottom that your feet are. Press to your feet, engage the back of your legs to lift, and really send breath into your low belly. Palms can stay flat or interlaced to open up more through your chest. Draw your knees forward. Lengthen your spine. One more inhale. Exhale, release your hands if they're connected. Lower yourself down. Once your bottom touches the ground, your pelvis touches down, you can hug your knees to your chest. Rock a little side to side. Give yourself a release. A low back massage. And we'll take this to a twist. Legs turn to one side, arms open wide in a T or in a cactus, or you can take one hand to your thigh. Head turns in the opposite direction of your legs, depending on how that feels for you in your neck. Let your breath slow, but keep your awareness on your breath. Slowly draw yourself through center to the other side. As always, stay longer if you'd like some more time. And when right and left feel even, back to center. Into any last shapes, a happy baby, another back bend, an inversion of some kind, any other stretches. Eventually make your way into your final resting shape, Shavasana. Traditionally, that's on your back, 
But if that doesn't feel appropriate or comfortable, you can be on your side, on your belly, or in a seat as I am. Really take your time to get there if you're not already. Feel the ground below you in whatever shape you're in. Feel that support and really let yourself relax into the support. Eyes closed or soft, breath natural or light. Mind is going to do what it does. Thoughts will come and go totally normal, totally okay. And really just give yourself permission to be here for the next minute or two. Shift your awareness back to your breath. Add some small movements, wiggles or stretches to reawaken your physical body. Extend your arms above you, find a full stretch. And slowly and gently make your way up to a comfortable seat if you're not already there. When you arrive in your seat, find that core strength, stability, support again. Sit up tall, relax your shoulders down away from your ears. And bring your palms together in front of your heart. Press your thumbs into your chest. Feel your heart beating, your body alive. Maybe some of that heat you built. And thank yourself for making the time today to move, to breathe, to be. I thank you for sharing your energy and your practice with me, with all of us joining. We'll bow our heads together. Namaste. Thanks, guys. Have a lovely rest of the day, and I will see you very soon, hopefully.